at what age do you think it's appropriate to allow a child to have technology? So the average age right now is about six, where kids are actually being handed their own tablet or cell phone. Yeah. And that's too early. So if, from my perspective, I look at the brain development of kids, and at three, they have this huge neuronal burst that occurs, and they really don't have any sort of trimming or what we call pruning is in the medical field from those neurons until they're about seven, eight years old. So if you're handing them technology at six, it's really kind of like the wild, wild west in their brains. And then they have another burst at 13, between 12 and 13. And then again, you have this, again, kind of chaotic system that's going on. And you have to let them develop those neuronal connections before you introduce these things that can potentially change the structure of their brain. Okay, so my question would be, because some, you know, the skeptics would say, well, what about television? Because we've had television for uh, several generations right now, and kids have always been parked in front of television, and it's, it's flickering, and what, clearly you can't interact with it like you would a smartphone or something, but is there any scientific studies that would show that this is worse than television? Yes. Okay. So there's lots of studies that are coming out that say that the more aggressive and violent exposures kids have, so for instance, in television, back when we were watching television, there were, there were rankings and there were ratings based upon what age group may be watching. So they mm -hmm. weren't putting on super violent shows in mid-afternoon. Mm -hmm. They'd be on in the evenings. So they were able to really monitor when those children could have been exposed to it. Today that doesn't exist anymore. Kids can access anything at any time and so the research shows that the more exposure to violence, for instance, then you have kids that are more aggressive and less empathetic than ever in history. Okay, that I understand. Uh, that's a content issue but from what I'm getting, from what I'm seeing about your work is just the interaction with the machine itself is mm -hmm. actually changing the pathways of their brains? Right. It does, okay. in, in certain ways. What happens with kids is that there's something that's called the dopamine pathway for when you're having, like, if you have a substance abuse problem or something like that. Process addictions are different. So if you're getting something that is excitatory or it makes you happy mm -hmm. or it feels good, like technology does for kids, then that pathway, that dopamine pleasure pathway, actually gets uh, stimulated. And so those kids want that more and more. So that's different than, say, because they're interacting in it, than passively watching television. And that's why it actually structurally changes the brain because now there's activity on their part that's interacting with the technology. Which reinforces the changes, I guess. Correct, right. 